Thank you. Oh my gosh, sorry about the, uh, yeah, sorry. But anyway, I didn't get a chance to see who all was on here. Hello, hello. I don't know how many of you have cooked with essential oils. Um, probably everybody, because we use them and that's what we do, right? Uh, every day, in every way. So I'm just gonna go over a few of the things that I have used and um, and places that you can go um, to get recipes if you're not inspired. Because uh, when I first started using oils, um, lemon was my go-to. I mean, that was what I used for everything. And um, so, but I've gotten, I experiment more than I ever used to. And sometimes it works out great and sometimes it does not. But you know, I I usually start small and um, work my way out from there. So um, one thing that I, I've learned is just use what you love. You know, I mean, I like, um, like I said, I like lime, I like lemon, I love all the citrus oils. And then there's all of the herb oils. Um, and then some that are not as common. So I like for this thing, last Thanksgiving, I probably used mm, four different oils in the two dishes that I took um, to our family dinner. And I used cinnamon in the um, yams, uh, which gave it a good kick. And, and then I um, marinated, marinated, soaked. I soaked the uh, turnips. I used raw turnips with lime. And then I used um, wild orange on the ikama. And what else did I use? Maybe just three. But anyway, so it's it's easy. Um, I don't know. Have any of you had? Tell me what you all have yet, have used, done. Talk to me. I love the oils in fudge. Oh, which I ones do you? Peppermint one? and chocolate fudge. Oh yeah. It's delicious. <clears throat> and I've used the, um, the peppermint and wild orange in brownies. And then I used uh, spearmint and um, spearmint and wild orange in the frosting. So the, um, the uh, powdered sugar frosting, which is delicious. Yummy. Yeah. I, like, I like the dill dip as well. So you do dill and rosemary with um cream cheese and what else is the other thing that you put in there but it it is so amazing for a veggie dip oh oh that delicious um, and, yeah. yeah and i've used ginger um so oh, i use ginger and well let's see the first class that i did um i made all kinds of stuff but anyway i used yogurt as the base and i added uh i did three different um dips for vegetables and i used ginger um peppermint and i think wild orange and it seemed like odd combinations or i didn't combine them but odd but they taste so good and i just i mean there's so many options as far as what you can do um connie i saw that you used oregano and hi how are you <laughs> So, but you've used oregano, and uh, that's one <laughs> that I know people have had disasters with. So you've had success with it? Good. Yeah, that's one you have to be careful with because it is potent. And there are some that are very potent. <clears throat> but, um, but lemon, you can never, I don't know, you can never go wrong with lemon. Uh, and we never can add too much. I use it for uh, sautéing. Um, in vegetables, in everything. So um, all I can say is uh, experiment and start small. Um, <clears throat> and one of the advantages of having uh, the essential oils, using essential oils is that they're always in your cupboard. 
Um, they may cost a little bit more when you start out, but they will always be there. They're not going to go stale. And um, a little bit goes a long way. Um, I just posted a picture of my spice cabinet that I cleaned out this summer. And um, I love it. I love having everything. I mean, I, I love having all of those things that I cook with most in one spot. Um, and then it leaves more room for the things, the other ones that I use for different things on a daily basis, more accessible. Right here, next to my sink. So I, I need, and I move things to the right for um, the ones that I use most often. <clears throat> I move them around because it always changes. Um, so you can use, uh, the oil just, uh, straight on the food, or you can use a carrier, <clears throat> um, different kinds of cooking oils. It, it helps emulsify it and have it stay in, you know, mixed up well, rather than floating to the top, but in oils, in salts, in sugars, in vinegars, in water, and yogurt I mean the um, options are endless and um, you can make uh, simple vinaigrettes um, with you know uh, vinegar mustard uh, salt and pepper and then whatever um, oils that suit your fancy and what else um, you can I don't know cooking with it is so easy I it's just it's just experimenting. So um, I made a list of some of my favorites. And Iris, I saw you posted some the dill, and dill is not something that I have used a lot of, but I need to use it more. But cumin, I have cilantro, um, black pepper. Oh my gosh, I love it. Lavender, lemongrass, ginger. Um, like I said, lemon and wild orange. And a couple of years ago, I accidentally marinated chicken with elevation and it was okay. <laughs> no, it tasted good. It was not bad. I know an elevation is not one of my favorite oils, <clears throat> but it was not bad and it was happy chicken. So that was a good thing. So, um, <clears throat> So it's like even if you make a mistake, it's not uh, it's not the end of uh, hopefully hopefully your meal. So um, what else would you like to know? I thought it was had a lot to talk about, and it seems like I've <laughs> I've put it uh, said it all in five minutes. <clears throat> um, so do you do the fruit dip? Have you <clears throat> done any of the fruit dip? With the wild uh, no. orange and um, Cool Whip and a little cream cheese. And you could put a little bit of um, peppermint in it too. Super yummy. No, I haven't. And I read a recipe for making apple chips with uh, wild orange and probably some cinnamon. Yeah, and drying them. That sounds good. But one thing I do is. Um, it's like when I slice apples, I will soak them in water with uh, usually wild orange or cinnamon. Cinnamon, I go on different kicks, and there was probably about two months where I put cinnamon in everything. Yeah, I know. And then, um, I mean, everything. It's like my coffee, my water, my what I was cooking. Yeah, so it's you just go through different phases with the oils and it's uh <clears throat> it's easy so have you you know when you cut up an apple and it's just kind of sitting there and you don't want it to go brown if mm -hmm. you put it in a bowl and mix some lemon over the top of it and let it sit for a while it keeps the color nice and bright but oh my gosh when you go back to eat it it is amazing oh see and i you can't go, like I say, you can't go wrong with the citrus oils. It's 
that they are refreshing and they do a lot of amazing things to our fruits and vegetables and our bodies. So um, I don't know if any of you have uh, the essentially the essential life uh, book, but it has a lot of great recipes in there. That you know, I mean, I I cook the same thing day in and day out, and I just try. I mean, I'm a standard kind of person. It's like, give me not meat and potatoes, but you know, a, vegetables and pasta, and uh, and I'm I'm happy. So I need to expand my horizons and try a few different uh, recipes. But but like I said, I mean, it's easy to use oils. I mean, I'll throw um, I'll throw some a tablespoon of coconut oil in the frying pan and put in wild orange or lemon, um, black pepper, cumin, and uh, and just saute vegetables, saute pasta. Yeah, it's good stuff. So, um, do you use the essential oil blog where it says, um, or where it's got so many of the different recipes? You know, I was looking at different recipes this morning, um, looking for places, and I did, I posted that um, on this link. And it, there's some, I know, it's like people come up with so many great ideas, and it's just a matter of what you're, I mean, what you like. So it's, uh, I mean, everybody has different tastes at different times. And, um, I know I'll, okay, for the hundredth time, I'll never get tired of the citrus oils. So, ever. Um, but yeah, the, the blog has, uh, it, I scanned through the recipes there, and some people have such great imaginations. I don't know, uh, I don't know how, well, I don't know how anybody makes up any recipes, but, um, so it's, so it's from breads to soups, um, like uh, Iris puts puts a lot of different uh, oils in her soups. I see, and um, it's endless. So that I hate to say it, but that's all I've got. Um, I had a question. Okay. Um, I was wondering, does, I've never cooked with the essential oils. Does it tend to be stronger when you cook with it than for say, like mixing it into the dips or whatnot? Like as far as like you use more of the oil when you're heating it to a temperature than when you're just mixing it in with something? Um, I think that it, I think that when you cook with it, it, some of it will evaporate. So I would probably add more when I'm cooking than um than when i'm just mixing it in with something that's not going to be cooked but that's it is just start small a little bit at a time and um and taste test great thank you let's see and if anybody is interested in um, a link, oh, I, yeah, I'm sorry, I put that link on there already um, for the eatplant.org. Um, so that was the, uh, those were the tear sheets that I bought a couple, well, earlier this year to uh, teach cooking with essential oils. And so it was a lot more about using prepared. Um, prepared salts and sugars and oils to have them ready to cook with rather than adding the oils individually. Um, but my tastes change a lot, so I don't tend to do that. But I know um, that there's vinegars um, that would probably be delicious. I was, 
I used the last of my pickles and I put some dill oil in there, but it floated to the top. So um, I need to work on that recipe a little bit. <clears throat> um, and and some on some oils, a little bit does go a long way. Uh, like Iris said, is that uh, a toothpick. And one of the um, oh, recommendations, let's see. They were saying, I think that it's, if it calls for a half a teaspoon of, or a teaspoon of essential oil, or of, of dried herb um, that you can use, you know, depending on the oil, six to 10 drops of, um, of your essential oil in place of a dried herb or a fresh herb. I could walk through my kitchen. Oh, tell you things that I have made. I, I'm in the process of making some turkey noodle soup. I do it every year. Um, after Thanksgiving, I take all the turkey carcasses that I can find and boil them down. And I make my home, I make my own homemade noodles um, because I love, I love the ones that my mom used to make. But uh, last year I added lemon to a group of, I split it up and I put lemon in one batch and then black pepper, essential oil and black pepper in the um, noodle mix and it tastes so good. So it's just experimenting. Um, I hope this has been of some help. Gail, Connie, Lena, Iris, Karina, yes. So that's all I've got. So unless you have any questions, if you want to ask them now, or you can post them in the um, um, in the group um, on the event, I'll answer what I can, or find the answer, or point you in the right direction. So. Thank you very much. Thanks for showing up. <laughs>